or you are dealing with SQL database in recovery pending state and SQL server database. Here we are going to show you how easily can fix recovery pending state and SQL server database using manual and professional approach. SQL server comes up with three states. Online. Suspect. Recovery pending. There are several reasons that cause recovery pending state in SQL Server Database. Restart of SQL Server. Insufficient disk space. The sudden shutdown of SQL Server. Restoring the database from a backup. Offline and online state of SQL Database. The manual approach to fix recovery pending state in SQL Server. Mark database in emergency mode and initiate forceful repair. Execute the following set of queries given here. This way, you can fix recovery pending state in SQL Server Database. However, it is advised you to keep a backup copy of your database before initiating the manual approach to fix your issue. Professional solution to fix recovery pending state in SQL Server. If you're a novice user, you can option for professional sysinfo SQL database recovery solution to fix recovery pending state in SQL Server Database straightway. Let's see how it works. Click on open button to open MDF file. Now in pop-up window, click on browse button to select your MDF file which you want to recover. Now you have the option to select the scanning mode. Select show deleted records or show advanced deleted records. And press OK to continue. After scanning process gets completed, you will get a complete preview, you can also see the particular folder details. You can save recover SQL data in CSV format. Now go to save option and new pop-up window will appear select saving mode. There you have two options, that is SQL Server Database, and SQL Server Compatible Script. When you go for SQL Server Database option, then you have to fill server authentication details. And for SQL Server Compatible Script, you have to select the path of the file, where want to save the SQL script. Choose radio button, either select to save the file with schema and date, or export it only with schema. Click on the button to save maximum length of column. Press OK to continue. When your recovered data gets saved, close the application. Hope you liked the video was helpful for you, for any query leave a comment in comment box below. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. For more updates do subscribe our channel.